Ngozi Princeville Uche is an etiquette and image expert with a multiple pers certified personal branding strategies who founded Atelier Lifestyle and Consulting. She's here to talk about the importance of protocol and how far we have to go to get it right in this part of the world. Good to have you here. Thank you, Tokwe. Thanks for having me. You know, now I have to. I have to sit properly. Please relax. It's not possible. With everything I've read about you, I cannot even oh try dear. to misbehave. Yes, yeah, so it's good to have you here. Thank you. So tell me, how has the journey been for you in um, teaching the importance of protocol okay. in this part of the world? Okay. Well, you know, like uh, you said earlier, we are more focused on etiquette and personal branding yes. and the image aspect of it. You know, so that has been going well. Um, obviously, we know that uh, traditionally, Nigerians are very respectful, you know, but I think with the pace of modern life, the stresses, uh, you know, and all of that, we're letting a lot of things slide. Yeah. So what we're doing is uh, obviously trying to get people to recognize that these things are still important. Because if you let that fall, if everything falls, then what do you have left? You know, nothing. You know, so we're also um, organizing a very important protocol training. We're bringing global experts, you know, to um, address that aspect. Yeah. You know, yes, it is all part of etiquette, but protocol also stands on its own. There are differences. You know, so with etiquette, we're talking more about good manners, yes. interacting with people, you know, daily cuts. Yeah. Um, with protocol, you're taking it a few notches higher. Okay. So we're talking about um, state visits, VIPs. Yes. It has to do with, you know, how to plan and conduct ceremonies properly. It has to do with uh, courtesies that you accord to people of a certain status. Mm -hmm. You know, it has to do with dealing government to government, you know, that sort of thing. So you're talking about precedence. You're talking about hierarchy. Who do I recognize first? Where do I seat this dignitary? Yeah. You know, where do I place this person's flag True. before or after that person's mm -hmm. yeah. and so on and so forth. You know, so we're getting people who are absolute experts in that. Okay. You know, to come now in for and do people that training, at home yes. who might not be able to come for the training now, what's the safest way to address or accord respect to um, true protocol now when you're having like when you if you just find yourself at a, um, a point where you just have to give a speech mm -hmm. and you didn't have any training what's the safest way to accord respect well I truly believe that um, success has a lot to do with preparation you know so if you have any idea at all that you're going to be doing something my advice would be get the training required, get the information required, get the help you need okay. so that you make a, your, you know, you can do it successfully. Okay. You know, otherwise, um, you're taking a risk and it can end up either way. And we've seen these things, mm -hmm. you know, because I have, um, there's a video I share with my students a lot. Okay. Um, may he so rest in peace, the former prime minister of Zimbabwe, Morgan Changirai. Okay. There was a state visit to Germany with Angela Merkel. And there were so many blunders that that became the focus of the visit, unfortunately. Oh, wow. So instead of us being educated about the outcomes of this visit yes. and what he went there to do and all of that, all the videos or most of the videos were showing the blunders he made, all the faux pas, bowing to the wrong flag, oh. going ahead of Angela Merkel and so on and so forth. Oh, wow. you know, so it's important to prepare yourself you know, for... Um, Success. So, so, yes. Okay. Yes. So now, what businesses or what companies do you um, would you say need this kind of preparation? Okay. So lots of people. I I would say personally, yes. um, if you have anything to do with international clientele, if you uh, interact with people at a high level, yes. you know, so government relations, um, heads of protocol, senior protocol officers. Um, even people who like international sales and marketing, corporate board executives, everyone can benefit okay. from that training because knowledge is power. Yeah. You can never know too much. Yes, you can never know too much. Thank you very Just much. Just be humble, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll be wrapping up the second art. There's still so much at Wake Up Nigeria. Do not go anywhere. <laughs>